All right, everybody. So this is a two-part update. I got the boat back home. Been sitting for quite a while, but as you can see, part of the stuff in the yard. We'll go over that in a second. It actually cleaned up quite nice. The uh, the boat cleans up pretty pretty good, Clark. Pretty good. Now the inside was completely full, of about a foot and a half of pine needles and dirt. And you can see here at the very bottom of it, I get to clean that out, but it was all just, all sorts of just janky. So the, the gunnels will need to be replaced. The wood right there is all rotten out and, and it's just looking pretty rough. But let's face it, the boat is from 1967. Who knows how old those boards are? I don't think they were treated. So I say they, they did the job. So what I'll do is I'll replace the boards and, um, you know, just keep on going. So I did not get under the, if you guys can see that, I did not get under the bow. But I got the engine. I got a good portion of this thing cleaned off. Um, the Evan Root 85 is running pretty good. Well, it was. I don't see what it is right now, though. This is all stuff I got out of it. I mean, that is a pile of stuff. The wood in here was just so rotten off the, uh, I can't think straight. I, just, I worked a ton just now on the trailer. The seats themselves were incredibly rotten. I got some fuel lines out of it. I found a couple of, um, of uh, weights, some sinkers, and some hooks. Of course, they're all just rusted off of pieces. Now, I have not done this side of the boat yet, so compare the white side to this side, and you will see that it is just, I mean, that's just filthy. It's incredible. Um, now, I did have some questions, some prime messages about the jet skis. <sighs> Two Spark 90s, 750SX, 550SXX, and 650SX. And the motorcycle is a Kawasaki... ZX-10R, which I'm planning on putting in a jet ski hole. Probably the one, probably that one right there. Now the trailer. Oof. Um, you'll see here it's pretty rusted. It's not too bad. I, it was painted, but now it's all dinged up and scraped up. Well, I had to get rid of the old axle, which is back over yonder. Walk over to my junk pile. There's no saving that. And let's face it, I'm not going to put $30,000 of the jet skis on that axle, springs, hub, assembly. Not going to happen. So, what I did was I cannibalized a two part or two trailer. Again, forgive me, I'm just exhausted right now. Cannibalized a double ski trailer for the axle, the hardware, the holders, that sort of thing, so I can get this guy running. Now the tongue's looking pretty good. I got the rollers all where I want to be for the 70SX. It's going to lock them in just fine. I need to replace the U-bolts right here, put this guy back up yonder right there, and right here somewhere. But in the meantime, these hangers are looking good. Reused them, we're on a budget, which I know is just not the correct terminology, but let's face it, everybody's on a budget right now. So, this is the axle I'm sitting on, it's in pretty good shape. I'm gonna replace those U bolts, probably gonna replace that hub in there. It's looking a little bit on the rusty side, but it is holding. I've got one bolt in there so far, as far as drilling into the frame of the trailer and getting it to go. Probably wondering why the two skis are sitting in the dirt. Well, why not? It's They're my jet skis. You can wash them off. They're sparks. They're made out of plastic. Everybody just calm down. There's the boat again. Now, if anybody knows where I can find a good windshield for this thing, besides eBay, please let me know. I'm considering not putting one on there only because it's just really, really retro. It does stick up super tall, and it would make getting to the bow incredibly difficult. 
Not to mention there's a piece of glass right there that is just broken you know, all the bits. So there's the original horn from 1967 on here. That thing has seen far better days. There's every ring controls. There's more the other side. It cleaned out pretty nicely. I am very happy with how it turned out. So if you guys have any questions or any comments or any suggestions as far as naming this boat, I can't think of a good name. It's a it's Rinkin and it's coming along pretty nicely. Got the antenna up, thankfully. There you go. Antenna for the C B radio that was back in the eighties. Got my glass of distilled water right here. And uh yeah. It should be fun. This venture trailer is incredible. It's galvanized. It's in really good shape. And um, I'm not upset one bit with it. So, All right, I'm out of here. This is my Friday, which is really a Saturday. I've only got one day off this week, thankfully. And I need to get back to work. We'll do an update on that Miata over there later. I got it for 400 bucks. Let's zoom in on there. 400 bucks. T in suspension, short shift to throw, runs great. Um, it's just a junkyard special, you know? So, it's the fun of living in Virginia. And uh, will he move to, to crazy California soon? Who knows? At this point, I'm just rambling, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Y'all have a good weekend.